I'm Cesar Civetta, the founder and conductor of the Beethoven Festival Orchestra. It's named after Beethoven because in 1801, when he was 31 years old, Beethoven wrote in a letter that his art would be dedicated only to the poor. So that the Beethoven Festival Orchestra has taken its inspiration from this sentiment of Beethoven because it's giving New Yorkers the possibility of hearing great performances of symphonic music for the price of a movie ticket and students and senior citizens for half the price of a movie ticket. Around age 26, Beethoven started to lose his hearing and in the Eroica Symphony, he's displaying this anguish and this frustration with his growing deafness. And he writes in a letter just around this time, my ears whistle and buzz continually day and night. I can say I am living a wretched life. For two years, I have avoided almost all social gatherings because it is impossible for me to say to people, I am deaf. I want to discuss two aspects of the first movement of the Third Symphony today. One is the harmony, the dissonances, where this kind of anger and frustration is uh, felt. And then the other is the rhythmic displacement that uh, Beethoven does a lot of, which I find fascinating. So uh, the symphony starts out in a very simple uh, E flat major and with a rhythm of three. very easy for the listeners to jive to this uh, rhythm and it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Only about 24 seconds into the symphony does he jarringly uh, destroy this rhythmically and harmonically. <laughs> Of a sudden the one two three has become one two one two one two and these chords there's these clashes between the A's and the B flats that's only after 24 seconds into the symphony but he does this over and over again a little while later in a very soft passage the string section play and again, there's this chord, but this note doesn't really belong. First violin, second violins, violas, and then come the cellos and basses, directly clashing with the second violins. Then, uh, Beethoven completely throws the listener off rhythmically in this next passage I want to demonstrate. Now, five times in a row, this figure. I'm going to put it on this board very I'm going to notate the rhythm we hear bum bum then there's a rest and again bum bum and another rest bum bum and another rest five times in a row all together and it really sounds like this first note is always the downbeat bum bum rest bum bum rest bum bum if that were so he would have notated it with the note at the beginning of each of these bars. Bum, bum, rest, bum, bum. That's certainly how we hear it, but that's not how we wrote it. Every time he has the two notes followed by a rest, it's actually the rest coming at the beginning of each bar. So it's really rest, bum, bum, one. Rest, bum, bum, one, bum, bum. It's 
kind of turned our ears upside down. The next passage where those six chords are hammered out, the rhythm changes into a duple. He has a chord, a rest, a chord, a rest, and then there's six of them in a row. Again, there's a duple rhythm. Bam! 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 And if he had written this, let's say, with a change of meter, which he would have perhaps done if he was writing in the 20th century, it would be in the meter of two. And every bar would have a chord and a rest. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. But that's not what he did at all. What Beethoven does is he writes across the bar lines. It's the beginning of syncopation as we know it. Actually, when we think of what Louis Armstrong was doing with jazz, syncopation, Beethoven was doing exactly this 120 years earlier. Because there's always three beats in a bar. You remember the beginning. Da, ba, ba, ba. Here, it's one, two, three, one, two, three. And these chords always fall on a different beat of the bar. So it's two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So Beethoven is, is throwing the listener completely off rhythmically. And then Beethoven has this wonderful humor. The violins are sitting on this, which is really part of this chord. And he brings in the second horn. Well, at the first rehearsal, Beethoven's assistant thought that the horn player had made a mistake and came in too soon. Beethoven was very annoyed at that. Uh, but it wasn't a mistake. It was exactly what he intended. Beethoven was an incredible humanist. The Buddhist scholar Daisaku Ikeda, who's written over 150 books about Buddhism and about peace, has written also about Beethoven in his epic novel, The New Human Revolution, Volume 5. He writes, he felt that his art should be dedicated to the poor, an extremely revolutionary way of thinking for a musician in those days. And he writes his struggle with one's destiny, while at the same time striving to impart courage to others, is something that really struck Daisaku Ikeda. The last passage I want to share with you is the very end of this first movement. Uh, again, there is this change of rhythm. Uh, instead of one, two, three, one, two, three, he's back into the duple rhythm. Again, even though the whole orchestra is hammering away, the first violins break out of this one, two, three, one, two, three. They're back to that duple. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. It's wonderful, this simultaneity of two and three. I hope you enjoyed this session. Let me know uh, what other compositions you'd like me to discuss. And if you did enjoy it, please subscribe to these videos. And thanks so much for watching.